Okay, today is Sunday, 12th June 2016. Now this West Tea, this West Tea, uh, the main complaint is uh, not eating and vomiting for three days. Now this West Tea is a uh, not sterilized female, 14 years old. Okay, that is I mean, the patient information. No fever, 38.1, weight 5.9. The weight last year was 6.6, .6, so he lost weight. Last year was June, it uh, came, so 6.6, .6, so lost 1 kg. Now, the, the main complaint is that he vomit and uh, not eating for 3 days and unable to stand. Unable to stand, you, you, especially the right leg, Sama? Uh, right leg. Especially the right leg. Un un unable to stand for long, so that's the main signs. Uh. So now, the, so now I will go for the physical examination to so check first the color of the membrane. How you Green. 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 Gastritis and uh, and uh, gastritis, of course, uh, can be due to other other reasons like kidney, uh, kidney mm. kidney tr uh, infection or kidney failure. Because when they have a high urea, the, the there's an ulcer in the in the stomach, and then they have this bad strong smell from the stomach. Okay, that's one one thing we can smell. Okay. So now he does not allow me to open his her mouth. Huh? So now the history is uh, last year. Exactly June. Yes, it's June. Mm -hmm. uh, this this female dog have this uh, urinary tract infection. Uh. Mm. No, no, you write anything. Just listen. Uh. Urinary tract infection, and then uh, given antibiotics. Okay, already. Mm. And uh, I did advise the owner to sterilize the dog because when the dog is old, the womb, the birth tubes, uh, they get infected because old. Really the bacteria comes in, and uh, this infection goes to the bladder and comes back and forth. From bladder to uterus, and then uh, and uh, so you sterilize the dog, you remove the source of infection for the bladder. But anyway, the dog has recovered. So now it's one year later. Now this vomiting, this vomiting and not eating for three days, uh, is a bad sign because um, it's something serious. It's something serious. So now I will do the examination, physical examination, which I, I checked the mucous membrane is. is it's okay. Now let's uh, check the heart first. Heart is alright. No? But this smell is quite strong. Heart is okay. Lungs. You will cough, uh? coughing. Me, yeah. me. Lungs is okay. Based on examination, now I do the abdominal partition. The abdominal partition is to check whether the stomach inside is swollen or not, any, any tumours. Because it's a very old dog, so I let the dog stand up. And then I uh, palpate the abdomen, this abdomen, so palpate the anterior. The anterior, I mean, it draws us on the tip. So you have a, so I will check any pain or not. Now you can see this is arch, so there's some pain. Otherwise, the dog should be standing straight. Now. Okay, the arch, so I check the front first. Front is the stomach, kidney, and the liver and spleen. So no reaction. So it's so far so good. But there's some pain here. There's the dog. There's some pain. And here I the pain, then I check the middle of the But there's more pain here, the middle of the moon. Very painful, okay. So, uh, from what I feel, uh, there is some infection of the mid abdomen, either the bladder or the, the birth tube, because this dog must sterilize. Uh. There's a painful this part. This part is the uterus, this is the mid, middle, lower abdomen, and it's really painful, okay. So, I, I won't do more. Then, if the sun may be up or down, then I'll check here. I checked the the, the bulb, bulb here. Mm -hmm. Now we check here. <coughs> now we can see that uh, see any discharge. Mm -hmm.
他有他他有什么出来吗？这边没有嘞。啊？没有。他有做完做有大便。不是小便那边也出来东西吗？有龙吗？他没有，没有小便有没有，他不知道，因为不知道，他一定要在在楼下他才会大，他不会在家里大小便的。有东西出来吗？有小便，有小便的没有、啊？没有其他的。没有什么龙龙的。看不到。啊、在地下，地下看不到，因为你我们看不到吗？在草的地方。不是，他在家里面呢。没有在家里不会打小便的。他也他也用用用那个猫跟他拎那里拎。哦，他这几天都不不动哎。Okay, so so 呃、uh, ，the owner doesn't know about her。因为他大小便是要在草的地方。他小便没问题了。他小便没问题，他会。他会会会出来，那么要再走，哎、呃，再抱他在另外一个地方，他在小便，他一次要分成三次，两次、三次，他才一次一次一次就好。所以算有 difficulty in passing urine， so it's possible there is the infection of the bladder because normally can let go one time 嘛、啊。So this is one of the history which you have to ask the owner. Then, uh, because of the pain here in this side, so there's an infection either the bladder and the or the worm. Worm is the uterus, or both. Because because you you 那时候你没有验它，啊，就是就是这个是这个问题，它的肠啊，因为它老了，它生肠啊，里面坏了，就那个细菌就进去了，啊，进去它就发脓了。有些狗它的脓不可以出来，因为它它的 cervix 啊关了，你叫它 cervix 吗？它那个里面关了 ，the cervix close， 那么那个脓就在里面，它就越来越多了。嗯，就是说的那个，那里面就就肿了嘛，那里是皮肤，所以没有得分，所以 the best is to x x ray 跟 blood test 啊，然后 give a drip， 呃，那么就看什么事情 drip and antibiotics， 嗯，然后然后就看有问题，你就没办法，要验就要验，没办法，嗯，你不验它就。不可以站起来。The reason the dog cannot stand is. 哦，十十十岁，你啊，跟他也很可怜。对对。So the reason the dog cannot stand is something due to the pain here. It's so painful he cannot stand. It's painful so he doesn't get up. Oh, so the the reason owner don't want to stand right is too old. 嗯，很可怜。太老了。不过你不验他就来过了这个问题。哦。Okay. Take take blood test. Uh. Probably urine test and uh, X-ray, then IV drip and then all this. Okay, yeah, uh, really finish.